In this video I want to explain an issue in the General Maths Exam 2, 2023, question 7. It says here Arthur takes out a new loan of $60,000 to pay for an overseas holiday, compounding interest weekly. The balance of loan after n weeks is determined by a recurrence relation. And you can see here we've got this D in the recurrence relation. First part of the question, show the interest rate is 7.8% per annum, no problems with that. Second part, determine the value of D if Arthur makes interest only repayments, also that is fine. I want to skip down to B part 2. Determine the value of D in the recurrence relation if Arthur fully repays the loan in 5 years. So I've got the finance solver open, I've got 52 for PPY because it is compounding weekly and 52 times 5 is the number of periods. The present value of the loan is $60,000. The payment is unknown. I want to bring the future value to zero to fully repay. And I get negative 278.8577, so on. Now, you can't actually give uh, multiple decimal places after two because it's not possible to pay more than two decimal places worth. So really this needs to be rounded to 0.86, which is the way that number naturally would round anyway. And then you can see future value is 0.73. That means Arthur would actually end up overpaying the loan by 73 cents, but that's the best you can hope for uh, if you do want to fully repay the loan with a constant value of D and not have a different final payment. All right, but that's the natural rounding, so maybe not a big issue. In part C, it says Arthur decides the value of D will be 300 for the first year of repayments. So if I go back up here for 52 weeks worth, it's going to be negative 300 is the payment. We have to work out the future value. After one year, the future value is we still owe $48,651 and a whole pile of extra. And we're going to actually take, get rid of that minus sign, select the whole number cut it and then paste it. That will now be the future value of the loan. The bank can keep track of more than two decimal places. So for our purposes, the present value and future value can just be continuous with no rounding restriction. Now we go back up here, it's 52 times three more years we want to pay it off in. We do want to pay it off, so we want the future value to be zero. We press enter here, we get negative 350.0129 blah blah blah. So, you might think, because the question says round your answer to the nearest cent, that the correct answer would be 350.01. But if Arthur pays 350.01 in those payments, he's actually still going to owe 53 cents on the loan, which is why every other VCAR question would have had what's the final payment or all the payments until the last one, and then the last one's adjusted. That's been a theme since 2016. But that's not an option here. So if you have to choose a value of D to fully repay the loan as per the question, the best value to choose would actually be to round it to 350.02. And then you're overpaying the loan by $1.23, but at least you have fully repaid the loan. So as for you know what the correct answer is, basically there is no correct answer to this question because it's not like the actual value of D so I imagine what some people would say is, well, the actual value, the true value of D is uh, 350.01299, blah, 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 and you're just rounding it. Well, let's have another look at the question. The question says that the balance is being modeled by this recurrence relation. It's not possible to have a loan modeled by a recurrence relation with D to more than two decimal places because, you know, how is someone going to pay off a loan with like three or four decimal places of dollars? Not actually possible. So I think the question's actually broken. Um, I'm assuming the VCAR will accept 350.01 or 350.02. I guess the lesson is you can't model a loan all the way down to zero with a recurrence relation uh, unless you're willing to change the D value for the last repayment.